The Art of Small Talk by Casey Wilson is a book that delves into the nuances of engaging in light, casual conversation, an essential skill for networking, building relationships, and navigating social situations comfortably and effectively. Wilson addresses the often overlooked importance of small talk and provides readers with practical advice for mastering the art of conversation in a variety of contexts. The author begins by emphasizing the significance of first impressions and how small talk plays a crucial role in establishing a positive initial interaction. By breaking the ice with seemingly inconsequential chat, individuals can create a friendly rapport and lay the groundwork for deeper communication. Wilson stresses that small talk is not merely filler conversation. It serves a purpose in gauging compatibility, finding common interests, and building trust. Wilson guides the reader through understanding the components of successful small talk, open-ended questions, active listening, and concise responses. An open-ended question invites a detailed reply, encouraging the other person to share more about themselves. Active listening is crucial demonstrating attentiveness by making eye contact, nodding, and offering relevant comments shows the speaker they are being heard and valued. Concise responses keep the conversation flowing and prevent monopolizing the discussion, which can deter the give-and-take dynamic that characterizes good small talk. Creating a repertoire of go-to topics is another tip Wilson suggests for entering small talk scenarios with confidence. Current events, shared experiences, and light-hearted anecdotes can all be valuable content in a conversation toolkit. However, it is important to steer clear of controversial or polarizing topics, especially in professional settings or when first getting to know someone. The author highlights the significance of being genuine and showing curiosity about the other person. Small talk is not simply about being polite or filling silence. It is an opportunity to learn about others and find mutual connections. Genuine curiosity fosters more meaningful discussions and can transition smoothly from small talk to deeper topics. In that vein, Wilson advises sharing a bit about oneself as well, creating a two-way street of reciprocal disclosure. Wilson acknowledges there is an art to exiting a conversation gracefully. Knowing when to wrap up and how to leave on a positive note is vital. The author provides strategies for ending a chat without awkwardness such as signaling the conversations close with a summary statement, expressing appreciation for the exchange, or setting up a future interaction if desired. For those who feel anxious or uncertain about engaging in small talks, such as introverts or individuals with social anxiety, Wilson offers specific techniques to alleviate discomfort. Preparation is key. Thinking of topics in advance, practicing conversations with friends, and setting a goal for the number of new people to engage with at an event can help ease anxiety. It's also important to recognize that small talk gets easier with practice and that occasional awkward moments are natural and not catastrophic. Language nuances and body language are also discussed as they play significant roles in effective small talk. Subtle cues, like mirroring the other person's body posture, or modulating one's tone of voice, can enhance connection and create a more harmonious interaction. The author advises being mindful of these nonverbal signals and adjusting them to suit the conversation's tone and setting. Humor is a powerful tool in small talk when used appropriately. Wilson encourages incorporating light humor to make the conversation more enjoyable and memorable, but cautions against trying too hard or risking offense. Understanding the audience and context is essential when employing humor in conversation. Networking is a primary context where small talk is invaluable, and Wilson devotes attention to techniques for mastering small talk in professional settings. Networking involves building relationships that can benefit one's career or business, and small talk is often the starting point for these connections. The book provides tips on how to introduce oneself, join group conversations, and exchange contact information without seeming too forward or disingenuous. In addition to face-to-face -face interactions, Wilson explores the application of small talk in the digital age. Virtual meetings, social media, and texting present unique challenges and opportunities for small talk, and the author advises on the best practices for electronic communications. Being concise, using emoticons judiciously, and avoiding misinterpretation are key points for digital small talk. The Art of Small Talk
concludes with encouragement for the reader to view small talk not as a daunting task, but as a doorway to enriching human connections. By following the book's advice and practicing regularly, anyone can improve their conversational skills and become adept at navigating social waters with ease. Wilson's approachable and instructive guide equips the reader with the tools necessary to turn everyday interactions into rewarding exchanges, making the art of small talk accessible to all. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.